Hey y'all, this is Cyber Eagle, and welcome to another Minecraft Mod Showcase. Um, incidentally, this is also my, I believe, uh, 100th YouTube video I posted, which kind of surprised me when I noticed it. I was approaching it. To be honest, I didn't know for sure if I'd be on this long. Anyway, um, as promised, decided to take a look at the Mechanism Mod by the same guy who made... Uh, defense tech and which of course is also a uh, requirement for it. Like I said when trying to figure out defense tech I started messing around with it and figured out it could be fun. So, um, like with defense tech, uh, got to install the mechanism and mechanism generators mods and the easiest generator to use and the one probably that I'm going to be um, using mostly unless I decide to experiment with others for now is the heat generator and as you can see you can put coal or wood uh, basically anything you can, uh, you can use to fuel a furnace you can use as to power a generator I've got a couple of them here since I didn't know for sure how much power I would need but uh, there's actually a number of cool machines here so, I'm going to start with the digital miner. And what you need to do for it is, uh, even though I've already, actually, you know what, let me go ahead and reset and configure. As you can see here, you can add filters in to mine specific ores, and, which I've already done. Um, what you'll do is, easiest way to do it, actually there's a lot of ways to check it, but my preferred way for ores is just to go in there, put in ore and then whatever you want, like uh, uh, iron or gold or coal or whatever. I guess I'll add in diamond. Anyway, then you can hit back. And you do have to make sure uh, what you'll need to do is you'll need to, to be able to connect things. You need to use one of these universal cable types. Once again, I'm not 100% sure on the requirements, so I went with uh, the Elite Universal Cable. Since I didn't know for sure how much I'd be expanding this. Anyway, once you're ready, you, oh, and you can also enable Silk Touch. And you just hit Start and go about your business. Meanwhile, I'm going to look into the precision saw mill which actually improves the uh, amount of planks you can get from wood blocks by 50% meaning that in addition to some sawdust you get six planks instead of four yeah sorry I got a little tongue tied there my neck's hurting today and I turned a funny way that made it hurt right as I was trying to talk Anyway, there's also the purifying factory, and y'all may notice the basic and name by a lot of these. There's several different levels that improve the, uh, let's see here. Anyway, there's several different levels that improve the efficiency. Um, you can play with those however much you want, just to show you a, uh, the difference. Here's a, uh, basic smelting factory and yeah I don't have anything in there here's a elite oops, smelting factory so pretty much just uh, more slots available and as long as you got power coming to it you're good oops. this is the basic purifying factory which is actually even more efficient ah excellent and pretty much what these do is um, they automatically uh, oh yeah you not oh wait must not be getting enough power oh there we go you can see there where it's smelting let me uh, move the purifying factory over here since I've already showed off the smelt oops, smelting factory anyway and see if it'll work better but this 
pretty much does the same thing as the saw meal. There we go, and increases output. As you can see, this is, the miner is highly efficient. And also gives you a fun display saying hello there. Let's see, what else have we got? To be honest, this is a really, really deep mod. Um, you can actually... Um, I'm probably not going to go into the process of using it to create gases, but you can actually use an electrolytic set, use things like the electrolytic separator and several others, and uh, you've all uh, make different chemicals and various gases. Uh, let's see here. I'm looking through the wiki right now, to be honest. Um, this part is so deep, I was hesitant to try, even try to cover it in the, this video. In fact, you know what? Let me um, look for some other stuff here and come back to that. But I will say a, that, oh, I will mention this also adds tin, osmium, and copper ores as well as the ability to make different plastic blocks like I kind of covered a little bit at least when I talked about <clears throat> excuse me defense tech and uh, let's see and I believe y'all already saw the scuba gear although I'll probably I'll be maybe the other scuba gear wasn't from this mod, and this is a different one. Eh, anyway, I guess I'll go ahead and jump over to survival and show this off a little. Oh, wait. Okay, I gotta look up the control. Well, let me go over to survival first and just see if it'll work. Nope, it's still off, okay. Uh, for those of you who don't know and haven't seen me do it, you can jump over here to check. Ah, okay. There we are. You press F to uh, turn it on. You can see in the lower left corner the oxygen level. And you can just basically stay underwater as long as it doesn't run out. And unlike real scuba diving, you don't have to take your time as you come back up. Alright, so. Uh, let's see. There is so much on this, I'm honestly... And this is the reason I didn't prepare more than what y'all have already seen. There is so much possible to do on here. I honestly could, had trouble deciding what to cover for the video. Oops. But, I, since I showed off the scuba tank, I guess I do kind of need to cover the electric pump. And let's see, what else was it? Okay, the electrolytic separator. Oops. Let me jump over here so I can... Yeah. Splits apart. Uh, certain gas into two separate gases. So, what y'all can do with this... Uh, let me see if I can... Oh, wait a minute. Let's see if I can get this set up correctly. Oh, wait a minute. Which is going to be fun, considering I'm not 100% sure how. Like I've been saying, this is a really complex mod. Oops. Okay, let's see if I can... If I'm producing enough juice to uh, tie this in. Yeah, 
Yeah, not extremely quickly, but... And not at all for this one. Alright, let me see if I can't... Excellent. Now, just got to verify how to get the water in here. And the electric pump can pump any fluid we covered in the forge fluid dictionary, by the way. Let's see. Oh, okay, so it has to be ab above a source block. No big deal. Let me just grab a water bucket. And, oops. Alright. Hang on a second. Alright. Now that I did that. Oh, wait. Let's see. If I have to, I'll, uh... Alright, I think I see what to do now. Yes! It's now pumping water. And... Let's see here. It will go ahead and automatically... Uh, collect water for you. And let's see... Let me verify how to actually produce oxygen. Uh, okay, I think I got it now. Let me uh, see here. There's something specific I need to hope I can find. Let's see here. Ah, here we go. Let's see if I'm right. About needing to rig up uh, mechanical pipes somehow. Okay. Yes! Oh, uh, by the way, kind of goes without saying, but I strongly recommend using not enough items because there's no way in the world I'm going to be able to cover all the crafting recipes. And even if I could, I highly doubt anybody, me and Cl even me, would be able to remember them very easily. <sighs> so, this will produce oxygen for your uh, scuba tank. And there are other options, just this is kind of the easiest solution, believe it or not. Uh, there's also a few other things you can do, and I'll probably just cover a couple more. Um, I know that unless you really know for sure what a lot of this stuff does, it can be really, really boring. Ah, eh, shoot. Yeah, okay. Let me see here. Let me also... Ooh, yeah, draining power pretty quickly. Maybe I got enough to at least show this off. Alright. Uh, hi. Because I do want to save some time at least to show off a few other tricks. Alright. Uh, do do do. You know what? Let's see if I can. I just need to find something at least to 
work with here. Uh, let's see if sulfur does to work for the chemical infusion. Looks like it will, actually. And for that, you make sulfur dioxide, which has some uses in the mod. And... Oh, cool! It finally found diamonds! And as y'all can see, it'll, of course, take a bit longer over time just from running out of material. I've also now already got a stack of planks just from 12 uh, or almost stack along with a bunch of sawdust which actually has some uses in itself. I'll cover this one more thing and then I may ought to go ahead and um, take a look at some of the more exciting stuff. But basically, you can, there's actually two uses in crafting, and all this in the wiki, and although I will include a link to the wiki, there's some, the, some of the links aren't that great, so I will recommend just uh, typing in Google mechanism, spelled M-E-K-A-N-I-S-M, and then whatever you're looking for, and it'll get you there. And you may also be able to use, actually I think there, okay, there is a search function in here, so. Never mind, just use the search in the wiki for anything you can't find. Anyway, uh, now that we got some sawdust, a couple things you can do is... Uh, let me grab a crafting table here. And... You can make a cardboard box. And let's see here. Oh, wait, what just happened? Okay. I'm a little confused here on what. Oops. On the purpose of the uh, cardboard box. I'll have to glance at that quickly. Okay, yeah, you can box up other blocks to move them. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so hold shift and right, oops, it said sneak and right click. I thought that was, uh, hmm. Okay, something's wrong here. Let's see here. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, it's being placed as a block. Okay, I'm, to be totally honest, I'm not really 100% sure what's wrong with that. But anyway, the other thing you can do is use... Uh, let me double check the crafting recipe. Yeah, okay, I got it. Although I was a little off. Two, three, four. And a bucket of... Okay, that was supposed to make paper. Uh, apparently something went wrong somewhere. It is listed as a... Uh, the crafting recipe for paper with the mod. Anyway... Enough of that, let me uh, set it back today, and also let me bring up my timer so I can keep this video from going on excessively long. Alright, now, even though I'm going to leave that going, it's time to get down to some of the fun stuff. Let's see here. Alright. There are a number of interesting things you can grab with this mod, including Obsidian TNT. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. Here's a one thing I guess I should show off. This is what, say, the blue, for example, plastic fencing looks like in the world. I'm not sure about its durability, though, compared to the wooden. Um, that 
I really want to try to keep from making a 40 minute or more video so let me stay focused here all right we got that by the way there's also a gas burning generator bio generator and solar and wind which if I noticed that I probably would have played with that a little more anyway oh there's also a okay I thought I'd be able to place that in the world apparently not anyway let's see here uh, do 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 where was it was the scuba tank oh there is also a walkie talkie you can use unfortunately or to communicate with other players unfortunately I don't have anybody available right now to show that off so that'll have to wait and there's also a portable teleporter and let's see and a flamethrower and let's it, you can pretty much just hold down the right mouse button and it will use that fuel of course but yeah you can go through and it appears to only be anti-personnel meaning it'll only take out mobs and possibly players let me uh... grab a spawn egg real quickly test that out yep I'll light them on fire and burn them up good to know now we're going to take a look at the jet pack which by the way does run on hydrogen so y'all need to look up how to produce that all right so uh, let me go to survival and double check the controls to make sure I know what I'm doing okay I think I got it now you can press F and pretty much use the space bar and shift keys like you would if you were in creative to go up and down let me uh... okay that's kinda weird that was supposed to change my viewpoint Okay, that's hang on. Huh, never noticed I can't change my uh, view on here. Well, anyway, if you only uh, put it on regular, you'll have to actually kind of tap the space bar if you don't want to take fall damage. But you can go really, really high. So that can be kind of cool and if you really want to oh, okay apparently it's not a good idea to use a oh, flamethrower like that all right now let's look at the obsidian TNT and I might ought to go back to creative <coughs> ah, excuse me I'll just let's see if I can't use the flamethrower to nope I can't use it to light TNT Man, it would sure would be cool if you could though. All right, Let's, and I'm not sure what this is going to do since I haven't tried it yet. And in fact, just saw it when I. Okay, pretty much what it does is make a really big boom. Oh, good enough. And now one final thing that I really should look up quickly before I try it the portable teleporter uh, let's see here and pretty much you do have to have the teleporter block it looks like and supply it with power which 
Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna run on over here to the little area we got to see if I can't set it up over here. Oh, and uh. Oh, it looks like it did split into hydrogen oxygen. You know what? Let me, uh. Before I forget, if you grab an empty scuba tank, you can put it in here and it'll transfer the oxygen over. It will take a while, of course, to get enough, but it can be done. Now, back to the main objective. Uh, let's see here. Okay, apparently somehow this has to be receiving power. Uh, do do do. Hmm. Could have sworn that was. Oh, wait, that's teleporter frame. No wonder. This is what I need. All right, there we are. And as you can see, it has me listed as the owner. And yeah, that's how I thought this worked. What you'll need to do is you'll need to. Oh wait, I forgot I had that's the jetpack. I was wondering. You'll need to put a separate block and make sure wherever else you want to go and make sure it's powered. And let me just go ahead and see if I can get another heat generator put together so I can do this quickly. And all right, that should be all we need. All right. Okay, uh, let's see here, uh, I'll just, this is TP1, this should be where you name it, yeah, so now let me get over to the other one, oh wait, okay, I'm I think I got too many blocks around here. Here we go. I'll call this one TP2. All right. Now, let me have a portable teleporter. And this should Okay, hang on a minute. Alright, yeah, so you have to select which one you want. Actually, I think I'll switch over to one. Hit teleport, and I'm over here. Uh, not too efficient if you just want to teleport to random places, but say if you have a couple of specific um, buildings you want to, or I'll say a couple specific bases, you want to be able to go between quickly and easily it'd be good for that and now that it's been almost 30 minutes I guess I should probably go ahead and end the video oh not bad okay this digital miner is pretty good um, oh I will uh, mention one thing by the way this is the only crafting recipe I'll show um, I should go ahead and mention and this is a big reason why I recommend uh, not enough items. Uh, let's see here. Let me grab a digital miner and go over here so I can look at the crafting recipe. This is just part of the crafting recipe for just for the digital miner itself. So it's really, really complex, and I don't recommend doing it without the wiki or uh, not enough items available to you. So anyway, uh, that's it. So thank y'all for watching. If you enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like. Uh, if you haven't yet, I'd really love it if y'all would 
subscribe to my channel. I try my best to have a variety of entertaining content available. Um, of course, given it uh, that this video number 100, I've got a lot, a decent amount of content out there. Um, and I guess that's it. Download link for the mod is in the description. Uh, make sure to get both mechanism and mechanism generators. And have a great day.